Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about object oriented programming in python so guys we are going to check the classes and objects with the help of examples python is a versatile programming language that supports various programming styles including object oriented programming through the use of objects and classes which we are going to see with the help of examples as well now an object is any entity that has attributes and behaviors so for example a parrot is an object and it has multiple attributes as you can see there are multiple attributes that can be present which is name then we have age color and so on apart from that it also has certain behavior such as whether it can dance or not so dancing is one of the behavior whether it can sing or not so singing is another behavior now i'm not sure whether a parrot can really dance or not but these are certain behaviors that we can consider in order to understand classes and objects now guys similarly a class is a blueprint for that object so basically these objects are having the attributes and behaviors and the values will be stored in these objects but the blueprint will be present inside the class so basically this class can be treated as a template which has certain attributes and behaviors being defined over here and we can create multiple objects related to that class so we are going to check with the help of example how do we create a class parrot with the attributes as name and age so let us move to the vs code over here the very first thing that we have to create is the class so basically we have to provide the class keyword followed by the name of the class so let's say the parrot is the name of the class over here and then we have a colon and then we can have different attributes so one of the attributes is name over here we will assign it with a empty string and then we have age as well we will assign it as zero over here as the initial value now guys these are the two attributes that we have defined for this class that is parrot now we can create different objects out of this class now this class is acting as a blueprint or we can say as a template in order to create multiple objects so we will come out of this class and what we will do is we will create the objects for this class so let's say we have parrot1 followed by equal to operator and then we can simply provide the name of the class that is parrot followed by the open and close parenthesis so this is the way that we can initialize an object for this class that is parrot and then we can use this object in order to initialize these attributes that is name and age so over here what we will do is we will use this parrot1 object followed by dot and as you can see we are getting this name and age being auto suggested by the vs code that's because we have already defined these attributes inside this blueprint that is class parrot so over here we are going to provide the name as the name of the parrot one object so let's say we provide the name as blue over here and then let's say we also want to provide the age of this parrot object so again we will provide parrot one followed by dot and then we have the age attribute let's say it is two years old so we have two as the parrot's age now guys let's say we want to create another object with another name and age so again we will copy these lines of code and paste this over here what i will do is instead of parrot one we will say parrot two because this is another object so this is the second object that we are creating by using this parrot class and over here again we will say parrot 2 dot name and parrot 2 dot age so let's say the name of the parrot 2 is wu and its age is 5 over here so 5 years so guys over here we have created two objects for this class that is parrot similarly we can create any number of objects that we want it's very important to note that while creating the objects we provide this variable name on the left hand side and on the right hand side we provide the name of the class followed by the open and close parenthesis and then we can call the different attributes of that class in order to initialize them now guys after these objects are being initialized with their names and age we can simply print them on the console so what we can do is we can have the print statement with the formatting being enabled so over here inside the print statement we can have the f followed by the double quotes and then what we can do is open and close curly braces inside this we can have the parent one dot name over here is and then followed by curly braces parent one dot age and then we can have years old so guys basically what is happening over here is inside the open and close curly braces we can provide the variable names in order to get their values being printed inside the print statement so this parrot one dot name will give us the value of this variable that is blue over here and then followed by is and then again we will get parrot one dot age which is two in this case so blue is 
two years old. So this is a statement that should get printed. And then similarly, we can copy this line of code and paste this over here. And instead of parrot one, we can simply say parrot two. So we have parrot2.name and then parrot2.age. So guys, let me just save this file now and try running this code. As you can see, blue is two years old. This is what is getting printed by using the first print statement. And over here, again, we are getting Wu is five years old. So this is the second print statement that is helping us in order to print this particular statement. So guys, this is the way that we can easily create a class. In this case, we have created the parrot class and we have two attributes that is name and age. You can have any number of attributes for the class based on your requirements. And apart from that, while creating the objects, you can have the values for those attributes based on those particular individual objects. And then you can call those attributes by using the objects that you have just initialized by using this statement that is the object on the left hand side followed by equal to operator and then we have the class name followed by the open and close parenthesis this is called instantiating of the object or we can also call it as initializing an object in python programming so guys that's it in this video practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is inheritance in python programming so stay tuned